Hey loves, welcome to my channel. My name is Winnie G and if you're new here and if you're returning, then hey girl, how you doing? Today I'm gonna show y'all how I got this really cute, fluffy, round, curly cut with like a bang situation. I feel like a lot of people wear their curly hair kind of super defined and I really wanted to go for something really bouncy and full and just looked really, really natural. Today's video is sponsored by Nadula. They sent me over this curly wig with curly edges. And I wanna show you guys my entire install process from the box to the finish. So this is the wig. It's Jerry curly hair with curly edges. And the little curl came so cute. I didn't wanna to have to mess it up, but girl, I have to bleach these knots, so yeah. So first things first to prep the wig, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the adjustable strap and I'm also gonna get rid of any additional combs and the excess lace on the back. I only keep the one comb in the back. All the other combs I get rid of. And as you can see, the knots need to be bleached as well. So I'm going in with a little bit of hairspray and I'm just spraying that on the edges of the hair and brushing everything straight back. And that helps to make sure that we don't actually dye the hair, we're only dyeing the roots. I flip the wig inside out and put a paper towel on the inside to create a bit of contrast so I can see where the hair starts and stops on the wig and really make sure that I bleach the entire hairline. I'm using the blue kaleidoscope bleach because it kind of tones while it lightens and that way my roots don't end up super brassy. So I went ahead and did my bald cap off camera. If you guys want an updated tutorial on that, I can definitely do one, but I'm using a little bit of foundation to tint the lace. And I'm topping that with a little bit of hairspray and my blow dryer to make sure that everything is nice and dry. And now we can pop the wig on. She's nice and prepped and ready to go. I hate having stuff on my ears, so I always go in and trim my ear tabs first just so everything can lay nice and flush. And then I'm using my scissors to kind of cut a jagged line across the front, right in front of where the hairline starts. You wanna leave a little bit of lace, not too much, but just a little bit of extra lace because it really makes your install lay nice and flat and give you that melted look. So now that we have our wig prepped, let's go ahead and get into the install. I'm flipping it back so I can go ahead and apply my gel. I'm using the Bold Hold Liquid Gold Gel. I normally use my Ebon Spray, but I wanted this wig to last for a couple of days. So I'm going in with my Bold Hold Liquid Gold. I'm applying that down, hitting it with my blow dryer, and then laying the lace into it. My cap came down a little bit too far, so it was kind of sticking out in front of the lace. I went ahead and trimmed that up a little bit just to make sure everything is laying nice and flat. I like to take my sweet time with a new install. Reinstalling a wig is a lot easier because the lace is already cut and everything is already customized. But the first install, you really have to take your time with it. So I'm going in and trimming the lace and kind of customizing everything to my liking. And then to melt it in, I'm using a little bit of my Ebon spray on the edges. And I really wanted to layer the gel in the spray so that I can get a nice hold that'll last for at least two to three days. So once we have our elastic band on and the lace laid, we can go ahead and get into actually styling the wig. And I'm going for a bang, okay? I want a nice little bang. So I'm going in with my razor comb and cutting this section in the front of my hair first and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend that shortest layer in all around my head. And as you can see, it's creating more of a round shape 
when the hair is all one length it kind of just falls straight down and it's more heavy on the bottom I really wanted to have lots of nice layers to kind of accentuate the curls even more and really make them pop and give me lots of volume I actually didn't use my hot comb not one time for this install because I really didn't want it to be flat at all. It's my first time installing a wig without using my hot comb in quite some time and I really like the way it came out. I may stop pressing out the roots on my curly wigs. I guess for more voluminous looks. If I'm going for like a sleek melted look, maybe. I started the cut with my razor comb, but now I'm just going ahead and cleaning it up with my scissors until I have it to my liking. And now we can get into the baby hairs. My favorite part, my favorite part. I only need to use a little bit of foaming mousse for the edges since the hair is already curled on the edges. It makes it a whole lot easier to style everything because when you swoop it, it just kind of falls into place. Essentially, having the edges pre-curled makes it to where you can kind of skip the step of curling them with the flat iron and still get those really soft 90s baby hair chili vibes. You know what I mean? Big old ghetto baby hairs. I love it. So like I mentioned, I was really inspired by Chili for this look for the big curly hair and I love that her baby hairs have some really short areas that kind of just come down almost like a boy edge up. I don't know how to explain it, but it's these little like fluffy short pieces that really bring the look home for me. So I went ahead with my razor comb and kind of trimmed in a couple of those little shorter pieces and I love the way that it ended up coming out. I wanted to leave as much of this footage in as possible so you guys can see how long it actually takes me to get my baby hairs the way that I want them. It is not a quick process. Once I have the baby hair to my liking, I'm going in with a little bit more of that foundation on the lace just to make sure that it blends with my skin tone. And then I'm going to go ahead and tie everything down for about 10 minutes. And then I went ahead and defined the curls off camera because you guys have seen me do that a thousand times. I just used my olive oil foaming lotion. That is it. That's the only product I used. And as you can see, the curls are stunning. I love this hair texture. It's the perfect cross between a kinky curly and a deep wave. The curls are juicy and fluffy and I really feel like the cut makes it fit my face a lot better and look a little bit more natural. So this is the finished look. All the details about the hair will be down below in the description bar if you guys want to go ahead and pick it up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye babes.